Now to the latest on the group of passengers stranded at sea. Their coronavirus infected cruise ship is trying to dock after four people have died and many on board are reporting flu-like symptoms. The ship has been turned away by other countries and leaders here in the U.S. are also calling for the ship to find another place to dock. ABC's Victor Kendo is in Florida and joins us now uh, with the latest. Victor? And Lindsay, Florida's governor has made it clear he does not want any more sick people coming into the state. And many of the officials in Broward County would agree they're actually holding an emergency meeting tomorrow morning to decide whether or not they're going to allow those ships to dock at Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale. Now, here's the latest with those ships. Holland America says their two ships have made it through the Panama Canal and could be here in just a few days. They have transferred passengers who are not showing any symptoms from the Zandam to the Rotterdam. Guests on both ships will be confined to their rooms throughout their journey. Nearly 200 passengers are sick. Two have tested positive for COVID-19. Four have already died, including one American. There are simply not enough tests for everyone. Florida's governor says, we think it's a mistake to be putting people in Southern Florida right now, given what we're dealing with. So we would like to have medical personnel simply ditch, dispatch to that ship and the cruise lines can hopefully arrange for that. Tend to folks who may need that medical attention. Governor Ron DeSantis also monitoring the roadways over the weekend. He ordered checkpoints on I-95 along Florida's northern border to screen travelers from for COVID-19 hotspots. Possibly coming in from New York and even Louisiana, where Marcus just reported we're seeing a spike in cases there. And those new travel restrictions follow a similar order we saw last week where visitors coming in from New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut are being told to quarantine for 14 days under the threat of 60 days in jail. Lindsay. So, Victor, there are some strict rules in place, but why is there no statewide shelter in place order for Florida? Well, Lindsay, the governor has been kind of hesitant to issue any kind of statewide order here, basically coming down to the fact that he believes that some of the more rural areas in the state don't need a shelter in place here. Different story, though, in southeast Florida, where we are, where about 60 percent of the COVID positive COVID cases are found. Now we're talking about Palm Beach County down to Broward, Miami-Dade and Monroe, where are the Florida Keys can be found uh, today. Just today, he issued a new order, basically a shelter in place, and he's telling Floridians that we could be in this through mid-May. It, it was only a couple of weeks ago, of course, that we saw all those crowded beaches. Since that time, have you gotten a sense that people are starting to finally take things a little more seriously there in the Sunshine State? Absolutely, Lindsay. And right here on Miami Beach, this park right behind me, it would normally be packed on a beautiful night like this. Same with the beaches, but those have been closed down here. Uh, different story in some parts of the state, just south of Jacksonville, one of the beaches there. It got a little busy over the weekend and officials were quick to shut it down because people were not following social distancing guidelines. But for the most part, I can tell you, uh, at least where I am here, southeast part of the state, people are definitely obeying the rules. One piece of good news here, Lindsay, City of Miami Mayor Fran uh, Francis Suarez, he tested positive for COVID-19 a few weeks ago. He just posted on social media that he has now tested negative twice. He is very eager to hug his family. Lindsay? I bet indeed. Some good news there and also that people are abiding and not uh, right behind you in an empty live shot. So we appreciate that report. Victor Akendo, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.